Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, uh, as you can see, we're in 3D Code and today we're going to be looking at something very special. I think it's very cool. Uh, I just found it myself and uh, yeah, I'm going to share it with you. Let's say you spend a lot of time modeling and sculpting a character or a head of a character or a bust or something like that, right? And you want to create a mold so you can pour that head, let's say, in silicone. Well, 3D Code gives you that option and it's pretty much fully automated. So let's check this out, right? So we're gonna to go to the voxel sculpting room. We're gonna create a new scene and I'm just gonna grab this default head right here and that's gonna be our model, right? So I'm gonna click on that. This is the one we wanna work with. And let's say I want a, a cube shaped mold around the head that I can later on drill a hole in and put silicone in, right? Okay, so how would I go about doing that? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and look for the mold uh, tool. You can either hit the space bar, go to the adjust menu and click on molding, or you can go on the left hand side to the adjust tool, uh, to the adjust tab, sorry, and click on molding right here. Now, like I said, it's pretty much fully automated. So if I click on molding, it turns this color into red bluish, right? Now, you have a whole bunch of settings you can play with. But for now, I'm gonna leave everything at default just to show you that this is very straightforward. If you want me to do a more detailed video in the future, just let me know, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna simply click on Auto Generate Mulling Tool. It's gonna to come up with a box looking something like this, right? Again, a whole bunch of uh, questions and whatnot. I'm just gonna click on OK. And we'll give this a few seconds and it will start to generate the molding, right? Here we go. And pay attention to the sculpt tree on the right over here. Right now we have the bust, eyes, ears, and this is volume four. And it will add two uh, sections to it, right? One and two. Okay. Now, right now it looks simply like a cube, right? Let's hit W for wireframe. And now we can see that the head is still inside. And if you look closely, you can even see that there's a support structure on the front of the face right there, right? So what I wanna do is I want to kind of turn off the bust itself. So like so, and I'm gonna focus on the bottom two layers here. First, I'm gonna hit W to turn off wireframe. And I'm gonna go in here and select one of the two Hit the space bar, go to the transform menu, and I'm going to move this, all right? So now if you have a closer look, you can see this is for the bottom section with the chin and the nose and whatnot. And in here we have the top section inside. And with these two together, if I make a hole in the top, right, I could literally pour silicone into this thing and have a mold to reconstruct that character's head. Is that sweet or what? Okay, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, like I said, if you want a fully detailed video on all the options in the molding tool, let me know, I'll happily do that, right? But for now, I'm gonna have some fun with this. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that sub, hit that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.